overcoming opposition. Nehemiah chapter 6 verses 1 to 4. Now what happened when Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there was no breaks left in it, though at that time I had not hung the doors and the gates, that Sanballat and Geshem sent to me saying, Come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? But they sent me this message four times and I answered them in the same manner. One important thing that we trace in the book of Nehemiah, right starting right from chapter 2 all the way on through chapter 6, is that Nehemiah faced opposition. The opposition came of course from uh, the uh, Arabs and the Babylonian leaders there uh, who, who reported directly to the king of Babylon. They tried to intimidate uh, Nehemiah and the people. Uh, initially, you find them scoffing and mocking. You know, in chapter 4, uh, one of them comments that uh, even if they build, uh, the, whatever they build, even if a fox goes up to it, everything will just fall down. So they scoffed, they mocked at it. Uh, we then see that uh, then they resor resorted to a different technique. They tried to get Nehemiah to come uh, and meet with them. The first time they invited him to the villages. Second time they even invited him to the temple. Say, come, let's meet together. Uh, and uh, But actually their plan was to harm him. And then thirdly, they began to use accusations. They said, oh, oh so Nehemiah, you're planning to become king. That's why you're rebuilding the wall. And uh, you are having people uh, who are going around, uh, you know, promoting you. And so we're going to report you to the king. So you see, the, the opposition came in various forms. It came through mockings, it came through um, uh, intimidation, through, uh, it came through uh, invitation to compromise, it came through um, uh, false accusations and so on. But it is very important to understand and see how Nehemiah responded to these. Nehemiah, he refused to be intimidated. No matter what they mocked and scoffed at, he just refused to be intimidated. He continued to work with wisdom. Like we saw, he organized his people so that while they were working, others were standing with his swords to guard them. Secondly, we see that Nehemiah refused to compromise. When they invited him, he said, you know, I'm doing a great work. I can't, uh, I can't uh, leave this work. He worked with focus. Thirdly, he refused to retaliate. When they brought false accusations and of rebellion and uprising, Nehemiah just continued his work with sincerity. Three important things. Refuse to be intimidated, work with wisdom. Number two, refuse to compromise, work with focus. Number three, refuse to retaliate, work with sincerity. Just stay focused. Opposition will always come. The enemy always try to oppose, always tries to oppose and disrupt or distract a genuine work from God. It's up to you and me to work with wisdom, work with focus, work with sincerity. Let's pray. Lord God, we ask that you'll help us go past any and every opposition that we might face as we journey with you into your vision for our lives. Like Nehemiah, help us to press past these things. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.